In March 2019, Rick Reichard went to bed after a successful day of shopping with his girlfriend and daughter. His girlfriend had bought a secondhand leather jacket at a thrift store, which she left with Rick before returning to her own home. Rick hung the jacket up in his bedroom before he went to sleep. When he woke up the next morning, he had a strange feeling and it felt as if someone had been in his bed with him the night before, despite the fact that he had slept alone. I kept waking up feeling like somebody was sitting on the bed or tugging the covers, and I usually sleep pretty still. After waking up with the same uneasy feeling two mornings in a row, Rick decided to set up a camera in his room to record while he slept to see if he could capture what might be causing this. I didn't think I was gonna catch anything. I just, you know, why not? When he reviewed the footage in the morning, he was startled by what he saw. First, I thought it was me. When I looked, I was like, oh, I got up. But looking closely, I was like, oh, but I can see through me. And I went into a wall. I don't know what it is. I don't think it could possibly have been me. At one point, you do see the sheets billow up pretty large, and you see what looks like a figure on the left kind of move down behind the bed. I can't figure out what body part it would be, because it seems to travel from all the way from the, the top left to the bottom right. So it definitely looks like there's some more going on there than just a, a person tossing in their sleep. That was a little freaky. Uh, I have to admit that was a little freaky. It actually sat on my, you know, I felt something sitting on my bed. I felt sheets being tugged. So I was just a little concerned when I fly on. It didn't scare me. It just kind of validated things for me. This phenomenon is something that's reported quite often, uh, the moving of blankets or the yanking of blankets while people are trying to sleep. Now, many investigators wonder if it may be uh, the ghost trying to get the attention of somebody that may be ignoring them while they slept. Rick couldn't figure out why this seemingly spiritual visitation was suddenly occurring after years of peaceful slumber. Then he remembered something. The leather jacket his girlfriend had bought at a thrift store days earlier had been in his room this whole time. And as this was the only new element in his room, Rick suspected that this could be the cause. I mean, if something's attached to something that they truly like, if there are spirits, you know, they, they can stay with it for a while or travel with it or... It's nothing evil, it's just, it's a present. If you think about it, if the person that was living loved this jacket, wore this jacket every single day, perhaps some of his or her energy has been uh, rubbed off on the jacket. And when some new owner takes it into their home, you know, basically opens the floodgates. Even though Rick didn't feel that whatever was visiting him in the night was malicious, he was in need of a restful night's sleep. So he brought the jacket outside to the garage. At the very least, it would test his hypothesis. When bringing in a possibly haunted item into your home that triggers activity, removing it after observing this activity is a good way to test to see, all right, is it that item? The change was immediate. As soon as I hung it out there, took it out in the garage, it just seemed like everything kind of calmed away, calmed down a little bit. Rick has not brought the jacket back into the house since. There's no need to mess around anymore. <laughs> Why uh, interrupt or make something feel uncomfortable, so? like actually myself. Boing, 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 boing.